just can't stop now. No, trying to find a way out. Hey, feels like they won't let me move, let me breathe, let me leave, just like a man, like a man. Yo, Polly Rob, what up? Yo, 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 once again, happy new year! 2019, y'all. This is the this is the Poly Rob podcast. I'm glad for y'all tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe to me. Subscribe. It's a new year. I need new subscribers, man. Subscribe to me on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. We're on Spotify, SoundCloud. Um, we're on Google Play Music. We're on Stitcher Radio, and we're adding a couple of uh, new platforms coming up real soon. So make sure you subscribe. I am excited. Y'all can probably. Hear me cheesing. It is a new year, y'all. Hey, I'm dumb, crazy, excited, man. And uh, we'll talk about a little bit why I'm excited. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to uh, shout out local astronauts. That is the team. That is the squad. And, you know, we're doing some ill creative shit this year. So make sure you have to tune in to all of our Instagrams, all of our Facebook. Everything is at local astronauts. Local astronauts is the squad. On top of that, I've been getting a lot of good um donations from everybody you know what i'm saying i'll be getting some cash apps man i you know uh, for the podcast i appreciate that you know what i mean and uh for anybody else that want to give more donations i appreciate it i don't care if it's 10 cent i don't care if it's ten thousand. it don't matter uh i appreciate all of the donations my cash app is uh dollar sign p-o-l-y R O B. Once again, it is my cash app is dollar sign P O L Y R O B. And uh, man, it's it's go time. It's go time. It's go time. You know what I mean? I got a great topic today. Uh, shout out to everybody that's on my Poly Rob podcast creative group. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we be getting a lot of good uh, responses in that. A little slow, but we're going to pick it up because it's the new year. And I knew it was the holidays. And uh, the topic that I originally was going to talk about um, from the Facebook creative group, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to talk about it today uh, because it is the new year. So I felt like I just want to squeeze this one topic in really, really quick um, and get that started. You know what I'm saying? Before I go to that. So trust and believe next week. Or probably tomorrow. I don't know. We're going to talk about that topic on the Facebook creative group. But for right now, we're going to talk about some real shit right now. we going to talk about some real shit. And you already know it's, it's the first. It's the first. No, it's the second right now, actually. But I'm treating it like it's the first because on the first, I was chilling. I was big chilling. I was eating jerk chicken and rice and potatoes drinking champagne, watching TV, doing a little bit of paperwork here and there, making a couple beats. Actually, I made a lot of beats. I made 12 beats. But that was just preliminary. This is where everything starts, for real, on the second. And, you know, we can't avoid the concept of talking about New Year's resolutions. We can't avoid it. There's no way. We're not going to be able to avoid it because everybody talks about it. And whether you hate New Year's resolutions or you love it, no matter what, you got to tune into it because it's important. Society has set itself to make you feel like you can rejuvenate whatever was going on in your previous 365 days. It's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. But also at the same time, getting into a habit of restarting every year is not going to get you anywhere. It's definitely not going to get you anywhere. Not the concept of what what your resolutions are. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about a resolution that you should have every year. I want to talk about a New Year's resolution, you should apply every fucking year. No matter what. I can be honest. 
I have failed to apply this resolution for the past four years. I'm going to admit that. You know, see, I got my medicine ball, so you know I'm excited. I can admit I have not applied this resolution for a couple of years. I'm doing it this year, though. I'm doing it this year. So today's topic, we're going to talk about welcoming pressure. Let me say it again. Today's topic, we are going to talk about welcoming pressure, real pressure, pressure from the world, pressure from your family, pressure from your job, pressure from the career that you've always wanted to have. Let's talk about that. When you think about New Year's resolutions, it's like, okay, what can I do better? What can I do better? I want to eat better. I want to get more rest. I want to make more money. I want to be in tune with my family a lot more. It's always about trying to get better. That's what everyone's new year's resolution is about. It's about getting better, but not understanding that every day you walk on this earth, there are elements that lingers around to help you get better. There are elements that surround you, that follows you. There's situations that happen that allow you to get better at what's going on. Applying pressure is something that the world does indefinitely. It happens. It happens. It's up to you to be able to welcome that pressure or try to push it away. Now, when someone says pressure, you automatically think something negative. Automatically, you think something negative. That's what the common concept in the hood is like. Nigga, why you pressing me? Yo, why you pressing me? Me, what's up? Why you pressing me? You uh, assume it's a negative thing. But let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about it for a minute. Because one of the biggest slogans on planet Earth is pressure bust pipes and it makes diamonds. I'm gonna say it again because y'all been hearing y'all grandmother and grandfather say it for a long time. So I'm gonna say it. Pressure bust pipes. Pressure makes diamonds. Depending on the type of person you are is depending on what's going to happen. So my idea of what this New Year's resolution really is, is welcoming the pressure. Don't run from it. Welcome that shit. Welcome the pressure. Let me explain. Let me explain. For the past four years, I have not been welcoming the pressure. In fact, some of it I run from. Things like being able to physically put my body in shape. I've ran from that. A lot of my colleagues that are fit, that do their thing, y'all know who y'all are, shout out to y'all. They like, Rob, yo, you got a nice frame already, fam. All you got to do is work out and you're going to be built. You're going to be swole. You're going to be nice. You're going to be healthy. Man, get into it. Take a little bit of your day to work on your body. You're going to feel better. You're going to eat better. You're going to move better. You're going to do a lot more things better. Be able to play with your kids a lot better. You don't want to be playing with your kids and they out running you and you wheezing and you like, well, hold on, hold on real quick. Time out, time out. You don't want to say time out. You want to keep running with them. 
I've heard that constantly for the past four years. I ran from it. I did not welcome that pressure. Silly me. Silly me. Well, we changing that this year. Just for the common concept of wanting to see something better of yourself. We're going to talk, we're going to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. I used to run from the concept of not being able to play the full piano, play all the keys. One of my biggest like, like dreams is to like, just go to like a grand piano, sit down and just play my life away, play my life away. Hopefully might even sing a couple notes just for good measure. But I just want to sit there and play my life away. But it takes a lot of discipline to learn how to fully indulge in playing the piano. I've been running from that. Not no more. I'm welcoming the pressure. The pressure of seeing my fellow producers out there getting to it. They getting to it. Shout out to day one. Shout out to GX. Shout out to A1 Crashing. Shout out to a lot of producers that I've watched play and do their thing and really feel the vibe of being an instrumentalist. I've been running from that. I'm doing that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get that done. For sure. That's what I mean by welcoming the pressure. Welcome the pressure in. Set yourself to a higher standard. To want to do something better. To want to do something greater. To want to see something better of yourself. New Year's resolutions shouldn't be to restart. To restart. 2016, you restarting something. 2017, you restarting something. 2018, 19, 20, 22, you restarting something. It didn't work out last year, so now you want to restart it again. No. When you playing PlayStation and you going through your season and you got your creator player, if all of a sudden you on a three game losing streak, Four game losing streak. What you just going to restart the whole season over? Is that what you're doing? No. You welcome that. And you push through it. You push through it. That's what it's about. That's what greatness is. And that's what I'm really talking about here. Welcoming pressure. Is to set yourself up for greatness. And that's all I really want to talk about. I want to talk about greatness, y'all. I want to be great. I've been saying it for so long, but now it's time to turn it into a whole nother gear. Now, don't get me wrong. Polly Rob works. Polly Rob does his thing. Polly Rob is great in, in good areas, in, in, in other areas. But being great is not about doing what you're comfortable with doing. It's about doing what you're not comfortable doing. That's what being great is. Well, that's my idea of being great. There was a point in time. There was a point in time where I couldn't play no chords on the piano. And now I'm playing six, seven chords all simultaneously. There was a point in time where I didn't know how to make a, a full alternative style production or it was a time where I didn't know how to make a full movie score. And now I just do it like, cause it's part of my arsenal now because I welcome the pressure. I welcome the pressure of trying to be great. Because that's what it's about. That's what it's about. 
whatever your New Year's resolution is, it needs to have a continuous nature to it. It needs to have a continuous. Let me explain that. First off, let me say it again. And then I'm going to explain it. Whatever your New Year's resolution is, it needs to have a continuous nature to it. Now, let me explain. Everybody's always, I want to start this. I want to start that. I want to start my business. I want to start recording records. I want to start dropping projects. Well, actually, reality, if you're welcoming that pressure, it's going to turn into, I want to upgrade my business. I'm going to drop some more projects, more than I did the last year. I'm going to accumulate more numbers, more streams, more sales, more merch sales. Being able to continuously do what you've been doing, just adding other elements that's going to make it worthwhile. And what about the knowledge factor? Let's talk about adding to your arsenal of learning new things and indulging in new things. Beautiful thing. When you welcome the pressure, you also welcome the idea to learn more. You also welcome the idea to advance yourself by learning more. When you push away the pressure, you don't want to deal with it in no way, shape or form. So you miss out on jewels that you might get in the near future. You miss out on those. And that's one of the elements that I realize is by me constantly always learning, no matter how many years I've been in the game, I'm constantly learning something new because I want to bring in other elements of myself and tap into other elements that I didn't know I had, that I didn't know I had. And I think that's a great thing. We should all welcome pressure. If you're in school and school is getting hard, welcome that pressure in to try to be great and try to knock down those grades, try to get all A's. If you're in the studio and you're just going blank every time, welcome the pressure in to say, you know what? I need to bring another creative soul into my mix to start jogging new ideas so we can try to get to where we got to go. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of that. If you got a business and it's not moving the way you want, welcome the pressure of having somebody else come in and evaluate your business and see what's wrong with it to see how it can help. And everything ain't about money. Everything ain't about, oh, if you don't have no money, you can't, you can't make it happen. Everything ain't about the money. Sometimes it's just learning new things, learning new elements, where getting a wholesale license is not as expensive as you thought it was, but you never tried to get the information, so you don't know. Trying to build a club and it's hard to get a liquor license, but if you do your math or you do your you do your uh, research, you'll realize that you can use other people's liquor licenses to open up. You know, it's so many different things. But welcoming the pressure starts that avenue of you walking down that road to success. It starts it. One of my resolutions, I would say, is, of course, getting my mind, body, and soul right. Get my mind right, focus on the things that, that, that are dear to me. My kids, number one. God. My career. And happiness. Very important to me. My goal is to welcome the pressure of everything that I need to get done and get it done no matter what. 
That's important to me. It's about being the best of yourself. And let's talk about that for a minute. It's about being the best of yourself, finding the best you, the best part of you that your mind works constantly and is really going in. Having the best body, being able to, because it's going to become a point in time where you like, yo, I can have a conversation with my grandkids and my grandparents about the best body that I had, the best time I was in shape. What was I doing when I was in shape at the best time? I want, I want that. I want that for myself. Mind. Having the most intelligence to be able to maneuver and do certain things in different ways that you never thought you could do. Soul, having the best soul, being the most generous, being the most caring, being the most loving, being able to spread your emotions, positive emotions among other people. It translates in my studio. It translates at home. It needs to translate in other places. It needs to translate more. That's what I'm destined to do. And it starts now. And it starts now. And I want y'all to do the same thing. For whatever resolution that y'all on, it needs to have a continuous nature to where it's going to continue to grow, continue to go. Constantly. Constantly. The last thing I want to talk about is the sacrifices that you may take. You know, a lot of people don't want to talk about that. Is the sacrifices that you might have to take to see the best you. And let me explain something. When I say sacrifices, once again, that is a word that can be used in a negative manner. But it doesn't have to be. Sacrifices can be a good thing. It just means cutting down on something in particular to be able to rise to the level that you want. And I just want to say this because I don't have all the answers when it comes to sacrificing because I made some sacrifices that I'm not proud of. But let me say this before I get out of here. Don't sacrifice your heart for nothing. Let me say it again. Don't sacrifice your heart for absolutely nothing. No matter what. Because you need your heart in the end. You need your heart in the end. You need that love in the end. None of this shit matters without the love, man. None of this shit happens. And none of this shit matters without the love. Ultimate love, that's my only last resolution is ultimate love. For real. Welcome in pressure, man. I hope y'all do that. I hope y'all stick to it. You know what I'm saying? This is my podcast. You know, I don't want to go long for a long period of time. Because I start getting emotional and shit. I ain't got time for that today. I got work to do. All right. Polly Rob Podcast, man. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, Spotify. Man, look me up. Watch all the previous episodes as well. And, uh, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you're in my creative group, yo, I got some questions for y'all. After this podcast, when I upload, I got more questions for y'all in the creative group. If you're not in the creative group, go on Facebook, type in the Potty Rob Podcast creative group and add yourself on a creative group. I will let you in and uh, let's talk about it, man. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to everybody with the uh, cash app donations. I appreciate that. Uh, dollar sign P-O-L-Y-R-O-B. Let's have a great year, y'all. It's 2019. 
Let's just do what we're supposed to do, man. Hold it down, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.